Yes, I'm sitting here at the Top Packaging Summit by Packbridge 2013. And with me on stage is uh, Michael Samson from CrowdSpring in the US and uh, Johan Mortensen from Packbridge slash OpenUp. And Michael, can I just ask you first, uh, can you tell us in a few words, what is CrowdSpring? CrowdSpring is an online community of creatives, designers and writers who come from around the world. And we have a platform that allows buyers of creative services, specifically design and writing services, to post projects to the community, post challenges for the community to participate in. So for instance, a company needs a new logo. They come to CrowdSpring, they describe exactly what they need, a new logo, what their company is, what their message is, what their values are, who their clients are, the styles they like and they don't like. They name an award, a fee. They say this is how much we'd like to pay. And in turn, the community of creatives submits ideas. They submit actual logos for the buyer to choose from. Not bids and not proposals as in a traditional model, but they provide actual concepts for the buyer. And at the end of the process, the buyer simply chooses the one they like best, the logo they like best. That designer wins the fee, and the buyer gets the rights to and the files for that logo to use. And how long has you has CrowdSpring existed? We, uh, we, the idea was uh, it came to us in 2006. Um, we raised our funds in 2007, and we launched the company in 2008. So we have been um, open as a business for about five and a half years now. I see. And today, you and we have launched uh, something called Open Up. Uh, what can you tell us about Open Up? Uh, open up is an um, is an initiative to create an open innovation uh, environment for the food and the packaging industry. So we are, uh, let's say, in the beginning of the process uh, that CrowdSpring experienced for five and a half years ago of of creating a, a place where the food and the packaging industry can can connect, share ideas, and share challenges, and together, also with with other people outside the cluster, find solutions to to their challenges and ideas. So it's it's in a way taking the what we have already within Packbridge and Skona Food Academy who we're working together with and lifting it up to a digital platform. Can we say that uh, that uh, CrowdSpring has been sort of a role model for OpenUp? CrowdSpring has been one of the role models for uh, for OpenUp and they have been very very uh, uh, nice and helping us in, in what issues you should think about in the beginning, what bumps you should avi av avoid and so on. But we've also um, looked a lot on, on other uh, other platforms out there to see how are their models working and what can we take from from, from all of these systems and implement in our system because our, our industry is um, is not these uh, fast uh, adapting uh, um, creatives as I think the users of CrowdSpring are we are more traditional and, and the digital uh, yeah, the digital field is a little bit newer for the people within this industry. Mm -hmm. But I think there is a, it's a great possibility for, uh, for this industry to, to use that as a complement to what they're doing al already. Hmm. Any comments on that, Michael? Well, I, I think that, that one of the strengths of communities like CrowdSpring and the, the, the nascent community that's open up is that, that people have different motivations for participating in communities like this. So one of the things that we were interested to learn about our community is something that I, I think that you'll have your own version of as you grow your community. Mm -hmm. When we started CrowdSpring, we knew that we had to attract creatives, producers of content, producers of this work, service providers. And our initial thought was, well, if there's money involved, they're going to come because they want the money. Mm -hmm. But what we learned was there's more to it than that, that it's not just about the money. They have other motivations for participating. And among those motivations is to be part of a larger community. They identify with the community, so, so they're a part of something. And one of the other big factors is they're there to learn. They learn from each other. So designers look at each other's work and they say, ah, this is how you would solve the problem, or this is how you would solve the problem. And I think that you're going to see something similar. I think that, that the people who come to, to share their ideas to the challenges, to help provide solutions to the challenges, 
are not going to be motivated just by, oh, will my idea be chosen? They'll be motivated by the process itself and the learnings that they can gain and the growth that they can experience and, frankly, the fun. It's fun. Yeah. And people compete. People love to compete. And the competition itself is, is a part of this. And I think you're going to see that also. Yeah, I, I agree totally. And uh, uh, if, we, if we looked at the presentations yesterday about a lot about food waste and that the packaging was seen as uh, uh, just waste by the consumers. If, if they participate in an online community like this and they see the expert from the industry coming with their views why packaging is good, then the consumers can learn about, okay, maybe I need to, uh, to, to change my mindset when it comes to what packaging are good and bad. And that could lift the industry and make the industry more interesting for, for future generations and, and so on. Absolutely. So, um, I mean, uh, what is the, um, the what's it, what was it? What is the success factors to 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 when you're launching a, a platform like Open Up? You think? Well, your success factors are going to be very different from our success factors. We're we're business, and our success factor has everything to do with our profitability, returning money to our investors, but also supporting our community and giving people in our community both the businesses who come because they need services, mm -hmm. but also the creatives who are part of the community to give them opportunity that they might not have elsewhere or otherwise. And that's very important. For you, it's, it's a little more idealistic. Mm -hmm. For you, it is just about people helping other people. It's organizations helping other organizations, sharing knowledge, sharing ideas to, as you said, to lift everybody to a higher level. And so the motivations are slightly different because of that, but I think lots of similarity and lots of overlap also. Okay. Yeah, I, I think also um, if, you, if you look on how, how the current situation is when you when you look on new packaging ideas. When a, let's say a company comes out and say we want to come up with a new packaging solution, they go out to their existing network or, of suppliers and they ask these people, we want something new. They're telling them we want something new. How can you help us succeed with this? Mm -hmm. And what we see by open up and providing this community is that they can continue doing that, but they can also ask the question in the community and see what type of new ideas could they go in and find new suppliers, new partners, and so on that can help them achieve the innovation that they want. And that's maybe the initiative that, that we will, will promote the most, that see it as a complement of something that we're already built up as Packbridge and Skona Food Academy and use it in your ordinary innovation strategy. So, You know, an interesting thing, that another interesting motivation that, that might be a parallel also is we found that, that we had lots of creatives who were very, very experienced people in their industry. So for instance, um, I remember one man who I spoke to um, worked at an advertising agency, was a creative director, very senior guy in that agency. But he had started as a designer, as a graphic designer. And he never got to practice those skills anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So to him, it was fun to create logos. Mm -hmm. He couldn't do it on his job anymore, but it was something he could do on CrowdSpring. He, yeah. could, pr he could stay sharp, he could practice those skills, he could compete with other designers. And I think you're going to see something similar. Mm -hmm. I think you're going to see people who might work in other sectors or people who might have other responsibilities for these for your member companies in their work, but who want to participate on this level, who yeah. also have lots of ideas and don't have an outlet for that otherwise. And an, the energy to do And it. the energy to do it. I, I also see this that um, there's also always a lot of frustra frustration around new packaging launches. There's a lot of people that come in and say, hello, didn't they know about this uh, 10 years ago? How can they come with a new package solution and have this option? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of frustration about consumers and also experts within the area. If if they can be part of the new innovations that are developing out there and coming with that comment, comment during the innovation process, then that comment would be very beneficial for the people who come with the channels because, he, aha, I, yeah, I didn't think about that and thanks for, for, uh, for telling me. And his, the, the guy who comes with the ID, his uh, gain is that he's still respected as somebody who knows a lot about packaging and somebody else will probably contact him and say, I saw your comment on that challenge we liked it, can you come to us and, and see what we can do better. So you're spreading yourself and you're also making use of the network that we have in another way. Okay. Uh, well, gentlemen, I think we have to break here due to the conference. Yeah, <laughs> We're no going problem. to continue <laughs> in, the, in the program. Thank so you. it's very nice talking to you and uh, 
I hope you will have success yeah, in the future. We hope so too. Thank, Thank you. you. We Thank hope you. so too.